Samsung Notes, hell of an app. Samsung develop a lot of first party solutions. Some might say too much, not me. I'm firmly in the camp of more is more when it comes to Samsung developing its own solutions to things, especially when they're as good as Samsung Notes. Today, we're gonna to look at everything you can do with your Samsung Notes app, whether it be with the pen or without. Let's go. So welcome back everybody to Tech with Benefits. Daniel here again. What we've got for you today is a deep dive into Samsung Notes. Now it's a fantastic app and it does a lot of things. So this video will hopefully help you guide and navigate your way around it so you can know the best solutions for you to use it. We're gonna start off with a look at the overall user interface. First thing you notice when you open it up and how to get your way around. Now there are two ways to get into Samsung Notes if you have an S Pen device. If you don't have an S Pen, you simply just have to find the app and open it. You can actually have a Samsung Notes widget, which you can add into your home screen. That is another way you can access it if you don't have an S Pen. If you have an S Pen, simple opening the air command and opening Samsung Notes will get you into your Notes app. When you first open it up, the All Notes section is your default. And this can be quite a daunting look because all your notes are sprawled out there on that page. You can change the way it looks, the view. However, I prefer the cards. You can kind of get a bit of a preview over what the note is. Right up at the top, if you do quickly need to find a note, there's the search button. You can search by any type of writing, whether that be digital or handwritten. Simply type the word that you know is in the notes file and Samsung Notes will work to find it and show you that particular file. Very clever. There's also an opportunity to search by tags. Samsung Notes gives you the option to tag a note file. So if you don't organize it by folder, you can organize it by tag and you can search for it that way as well. The three dot menu gives you the opportunity to pin your favorites to the top or just completely change the view entirely. Down the bottom right is where you can start a new note. We'll get into that whole thing a little bit later in the video. As we get to the other side, the top left, you have the hamburger menu. Looks like a hamburger, right? Lay it on top of each other. But This is where you get the opportunity to change, I guess, a couple of different ways of interacting with Samsung Notes. You have the All Notes overview, which we've gone through, but you cycle down through here. There's also a menu option to access older format Samsung Notes. Now this is from previous versions of the Notes app or S Note, if you've gone back that far and you're that much of a legacy Samsung user, they will be housed in here. My best advice is to go in and convert these old notes to the new format. That way you don't have to worry about this menu option at all. There's also a locked notes section where you can actually lock notes using biometrics or a password. That way no one else can access them. They're just strictly for you. This is really good if you're, let's say, working on sensitive material and you're taking notes for it, lock it away in your Samsung notes no one can access it. Now there's a new option in here called Shared Notes, which is currently in beta. Think of this as like your Google Docs or your Office 365, where you can all collaborate on a document together. This is the way where you can invite someone else with a Samsung account, the opportunity to live edit your notes file at the same time you're working on it. I think Samsung have even integrated this with the Google Meet platform, so you can share your screen and all work on it together in that way as well. So it's in beta at the moment, so it's probably not gonna be at its fully fledging best, but the opportunity to try it out and use it is there. Then you have the tags menu, and that is quite obvious. We all use hashtags in everything, Instagram, social media, Twitter, it's like a thing. And you can do the same with your notes as well. Recycle bin, obvious, and folders. Folders is where you want to be. This gives you a really good folder overview and file structure for your notes files. I remember when they introduced this a few years ago, I rejoiced because the notes app before was just a convoluted mess of notes spread out everywhere. Having the opportunity to organize them by folder and making sure you have titles within the folders was great. I can't believe they didn't think of this earlier, but the fact they've got it now is fantastic. So let's jump in there. When you are in folders, there's a very familiar look about it compared to the All Notes overview, except now you're seeing a folder structure. You can change again the view of these folders by pressing the three dot menu at the top right. You will also see anything that's not in a folder and it's very easy to add them into a folder. You simply long press on it and then drag and drop it into the folder that you want it to. 
if you choose to not be lazy, you can add it to a folder the moment you create your note. So once you start your note, you can see at the top when you're interacting with adding a name, you can add it straight to a folder and it will be put straight there. The thing with Samsung Notes as well is that it is auto saving. So you will never, and I repeat, never lose your, your work because it will automatically save in the background. I think it's every 12 seconds. So you're pretty much set when it comes to working on a notes file. The thing with folders too, is you can create folders within folders. So when you open up a folder and you think, you know what, this could do with more folders, top right corner, create folder, add in another one. Really allows you to organize everything properly with a proper file structure. One thing I forgot to touch on in the all notes overview is the PDF button. You'll notice there in the top right corner of most of your screens is a plus PDF. Samsung Notes is also a PDF viewer and kind of editor. Because you add in a PDF, you can annotate directly onto it within Samsung Notes. Very handy if you're getting contracts or documents that require you to sign, you no longer will need to print them. Now I know there's a lot of other solutions there that have integrations and you can do it at a, at a laptop level or server level. But if you don't have any of that and you don't feel like paying for those subscriptions to those services, Samsung Notes with the S Pen in particular allows you to sign on the dotted line, resave it as a PDF and then ship it right back. On that note, let's get into what you can do when creating a note. It's very easy to start a Samsung note file. You press the bottom right corner. And from there is where you will see a very familiar looking interface. Now I'm not gonna focus too much on the S Pen side of things within this video. I have done S Pen features in another video that actually look a bit more granularly what you can do with the S Pen inside Samsung Notes. What I'm gonna focus on here is more the Samsung Notes side of things that are more broadly applied across the board. Starting with, I guess, how you change the templates. So as you can see, uh, the default is either a blank page and that cannot might be for everyone. So the top right corner, you have the opportunity to change that. There's a lot of preset ones that Samsung give you, a lot of good ones, but if you find a, a template that you want to use from elsewhere or you design your own even, you can import that directly into Samsung Notes from your gallery. And it will then apply that as the backdrop to all your notes files moving forward. Kind of neat. Underneath the template sort of section, there's page settings. And this is where I guess you can change how you interact with your notes file, whether you want to scroll horizontally, vertically, it's completely up to you. You can also add in a colored backdrop so if your visibility might be affected by white, you can fix that. So that's something to, to be aware of and know where it is. As you go down that three dot menu, you'll see that there's a couple other things to be aware of. This is where with that shared notes feature, you can invite collaborators to work on it. This is where you can add your tags. More importantly, once you're done with your note, you can save it and export it as any type of file type you wish. They've added in a whole bunch of extra stuff. They've, they've obviously got Samsung Notes and PDF, that you can save it as. But you've also got Microsoft Word file, PowerPoint file as well. So if you're working on something and you want to export it into PowerPoint and continue working on it in there, you have that opportunity. And then the final two are image file and text file. Very basic, but the fact that you can do a Word document, blown away. Next to the three dot menu is the attach icon. Goes without saying, the attach icon is obviously where you can import other file types and attach it directly into your notes file. What I really like here is the option to do scanning. Uh, you can obviously import images, use your camera, but the scan one means that if you've got a document that you wanted to edit on your phone, you can scan it and it will obviously do its thing where it changes how it looks and feels and then will attach it straight into your notes file. Really clever. You might notice a couple of options in there that potentially look the same. You've got voice recording and audio file. They are not the same thing. They are very different. Audio file will just simply grab a, an audio record file or MP3 that's on your phone and attach it straight into Samsung Notes. Voice recording will allow you to record the conversation that you're having and taking notes about, whether it be a team meeting, whether you're in a presentation at uni or whatever it might be. You could turn on the voice recording. It will use your microphone, record the environment around you, and as you are writing your notes, whether that be digital or handwritten, it will correlate the words that are being spoken to that piece of text that you're writing. So let's say you wanted to go back and you had an hour long presentation that you were taking notes from and you wanted to just hear what the context was behind one thing that you wrote. You can scroll down your notes file 
press on that particular area and it will play back the audio that was being recorded at that specific time. Here's how it works. Take a look. Now I'm going to really need you guys to know this. Okay. So what you need to know emphatically is that you are not working on Saturday. So just make sure you, you know, you write that down. You need to know that you are not working on Saturday. Now I'm going to really need you guys to know this. Okay. So what you need to know emphatically is that you are not working on Saturday. So just make sure you, you know, you write that down. You need to know that you are not working on Saturday. Also for you guys that are coming back on Monday, just make sure as well that you need to remember to stock the fridge. Okay. But only if you are there on Monday, if you are not there on Monday, you need to make sure that you stock the fridge on Tuesday. Okay. But if you're there on Monday, stock the fridge, please stock the fridge. Also for you guys that are coming back on Monday, just make sure as well that you need to remember to stock the fridge or stock the fridge or stock the fridge and store as well that you need the fridge or stock the fridge so clever and intuitive and i can imagine if you're in a team meeting or my best example would be at university when you're sitting there in a lecture or even a tu tutorial whatever they're called these days it's been 10 years since i went to uni longer my word i'm old it would give you a really good context behind everything you're taking notes for. I'd 100% be using that one if I were you. Then you can of course attach in drawings or text boxes, all very sort of basic stuff, but the voice recording is a very good one. The other buttons next to that, uh, one will give you the opportunity to, to see all your notes pages that you have, add in extra ones if you need to, or delete or remove, whatever you need to do. And the other one is more of a reading view. So it removes that toolbar from down the bottom and gives you the opportunity to see everything without worrying about having to interact with it. Now, Samsung Notes is more than just what is on the device itself. There is a now ecosystem of Samsung Notes interactions that you can have, including your desktop PC or your Windows PC and your tablet. Samsung has worked really hard to cultivate the autosave feature, which I spoke about before, meaning that if you're working on a file, Within seconds, it's going to be available to edit and synced up on your laptop or your tablet to continue working on a bigger canvas. So that's really clever. So to make that sort of sync stuff work, you need your Samsung account logged in on those devices, the same one, and you need to have the sync turned on, whether that be Wi-Fi or using LTE as well, completely up to you. My recommendation, have the LT on. It doesn't use that much data. Now there's some stuff in the settings that I recommend turning on. The ones I really would recommend turning on, particularly when you are editing stuff, is hiding the scroll bar. The last thing you want to do is be interacting with the notes file and the scroll bar gets in the way and drags you out of where you need to be. Turn that on so when you are editing, it turns off the scroll bar. I also would probably do the block back button while editing. Just again, you don't want to be accidentally going back when editing your files. That would be really, really annoying. There is some integration with Samsung Internet Browser where if you're clipping a web page, it will bring across the website information and it will copy and paste that into the notes file as well. That's just some really little sprinkles on top of what was an already really good notes app just now that it's now integrated into other apps as well. The last thing I really like, and this is more of an ecosystem play, is that when you have a Tab S8 or Tab S7, you can use your Samsung Notes on your tablet and use the screen on your phone as kind of like your, it's a really not best example, but let's say you're painting and you've got your, your what's the thing where all the, the paint goes on? I'll flash it across the screen when I'm editing. But basically your phone can become that. You can use your, your S Pen on your tablet change colors, change basically the toolbar just moves across and your S Pen can control all of that. And then it comes across and your tablet interacts with that. It's a really neat feature and one I really like using. But we'll leave it there and thank you very much for tuning in. If you're very much enjoying what I'm doing, please subscribe, please jump on board. Let's get this channel out to the masses. Let's get everyone using their Samsung phone 
the best way they can. That's what I'm passionate about. That's what I'm here for. I will be uploading another one next week. So between now and then, come hang out with me on Twitter and Instagram. Let's have a chat, ask me questions, whatever it is you need to do. But outside of that, I will see you in the next video. You!